Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Today I have a military tent which I know you guys want to see. Now this is the Dutch Military Special Forces camo tent. Before we set it up, let's talk about this stuff sack here. Take a look at this thing. This thing is humongous. You are looking at 24 inches long and roughly 11 inches in diameter. It's pretty big. This is what you receive with the Dutch tent. You get the stuff bag. You get the tent itself, some stakes, and two poles. All right, so we got the components out. We've seen those. Let's go ahead and open up the tent. Mine has this plastic ribbing that goes around it. That was done by the seller. This is used military surplus. So here's the tent body, all in one. Mine is covered in sand. Woo. I wonder if the inside of this tent is filled with sand too. Oh man. <laughs> Not a little sand folks, a lot. So this is the inside of the tent. Take a look at all of that sand. This sort of thing does not surprise me at all. This is in fact military surplus, used military surplus. With that being the case, this is very common. You will find military surplus that has dirt in it, condoms, drugs, bullets. I have seen everything come from military surplus. So to start off here, I'm going to walk around the perimeter of the tent, staking it out. Check out the stakeout loops. They're made of a plastic rubber. That's unique, I've never seen that before. Now let's move on to the poles here. With the poles, they go together very simply. They're very simple, very heavy duty poles. So right here is the middle of the tent. This is the door. Right here is a sleeve for the poles to go into or I should say one pole to go in. One pole goes in here, and another pole goes in on the other side. Then you could stake this out, and it'd be nice and secure. Okay. Next pole, another stake. This tent was made in the Netherlands. It is made from a heavyweight canvas with the DPM camo pattern, which stands for Disruptive Pattern Material. Okay. This is big enough for two guys, or one man and his gear. It's easily set up in about five minutes. So now I'm just staking out the sides here. The floor material is made from vinyl. It has two doors and it was designed so that you could connect multiple tents together. The weight of this bad boy is 15 pounds. It is 102 inches long, 42 inches wide and 46 inches high. So you can see where the pole goes up here. Goes down into the ground over here. With the door, you are looking at tri zippers. You have one zipper right here. You have another down at the bottom, and then the other one goes this way. Going into the tents, as you can see here, this is a very, very basic tent. You have the other door. Check this out. You have two mesh vents, and you have the mesh vent on the other. Yes, there are plenty of holes on this tent, and that is how it was designed. You have a pocket over here. Nothing else on the other side. Now you may be wondering how waterproof is this tent? Well folks, we are about to find out. This is test day, and today we are testing out this tent here. There is a series of storms and rain coming our way. In fact, it's sprinkling right now. So I'm going to secure this thing up. I'm going to zip it up, get it ready. Let's see how she does. Now, before it starts raining, we might as well talk a little bit more about this tent. You know, first off here with this DPM camo pattern, it is perfect for temperate environments. It's a cool looking tent. If you were to go out stealth camping with something like this where I live, 
you would blend right in. Nobody would ever see you. Now, the big cons to this tent are really the lack of mesh. There's no way to really keep the bugs out of this thing. Either you're inside zipped up and it's going to be hot and there's still plenty of ways for bugs to get inside or you're going to have the doors open. It's one or the other. Now, that's what I would expect from a military tent. This thing is made to give you some shelter from the elements. I highly doubt this is 100% waterproof. It is definitely, like I said before, not bug proof at all. You know, at 15 pounds, this tent is heavy as hell. And I would assume that most people aren't going to go out and carry this. And if they do, they're not going very far with it. Each side does have an awning which goes over the door, but if water splashes against that door, the water will come in. The zippers do not form tightly down at the intersection there. So water can come in and so can bugs. As you could probably hear, a storm is coming in. It's getting awfully dark over that direction. Now with this tent here, what do I recommend this for? Now, personally, I'm not going to take this out during the warmer months. There's simply no good way to get ventilation and airflow while keeping the bugs out. I hate spiders. It is just how it is. I don't like them. So when I'm inside of a tent, I want to be secure and away from the bugs. With this tent here, you definitely can not. You do have to keep in mind that this is not going to be 100% watertight you know, especially in a strong storm. There are too many ways for water to get inside of this tent. For an example, along the bottom here, where the zippers are for the doors, there's holes that go right into that tent. There's no way to block that up. Now, where I see this tent really shining at is during the fall and winter months, where it's really cold. You don't have to worry about the bugs. This thing right here could be very, very awesome. Now, since winter just ended, I can't really test that out, but we will do so in the future. Without a doubt, one of the most interesting aspects to this tent is that you can zip in additional tents. They can all be connected together. That is very interesting. You can connect a tent on this side and on the other side as well. For one individual, you could zip two together and have one heck of a large living space. So as it looks here, the storm is coming in. It is going to rain very soon. Let's see how well this tent performs. All right, guys, the Dutch military tent just went through a 15, 20 minute shower. Let's see how well she held up. So as you can see here, she's sopping wet. No doubt about that. Nothing like a good thunderstorm to lower the temperatures 20 degrees. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and open this thing up. For the most part, I'm impressed. For the most part, it's dry. but it's not 100% dry. And this is exactly what I was worried about. That's a pretty good amount of water for a 15 minute storm. All of that water came from this hole right there. Now see, at every single corner, you have one of those holes. You also have the holes where the zippers meet. So folks, there you have it. That is the Dutch Military Special Forces two-man tent. What do you guys think about this tent? It is very interesting, that's for sure, isn't it? To be honest, it did better than what I was expecting with the rain. I expected this thing to be flooded, especially how the rainwater was going over the zipper. I expected it to be much wetter inside than it was. This tent, again, really is what I would expect with a military tent. No creature comforts, the bare minimum. That's what you got here, the bare minimum. You have minimum protection. 
When it comes to the cost of this bad boy, you are looking to pay roughly 90 bucks, depending on where you find it. You can find these on eBay, uh, let's see, the Sportsman Guide, if you support them, and so on. These are fairly common. You can find these at Vernostalica as well. Used military surplus. I have not seen these brand new, but very good condition used military surplus. Sometimes they're filled with sand, sometimes they're not. Everyone's different. Just in case you're wondering if I would personally go out and buy this tent and use it, no, I would not. I think there are better military tents out there than this one. This one, in my opinion, just has too many holes, I guess you could say. I mean, it really does boil down to that. It has way too many holes. You have two holes on each side, four. Then you have the doors. There's at least six points of access for water and bugs to get into this tent. My advice for this tent is to skip it unless you have some sort of game plan to take care of those issues. It needs bug mesh. It needs to be sealed up all the way around. You could always use this with a tarp, but I don't know, does that make any sense? You guys tell me, 15 pound tent and a tarp? I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I've been outside too long, I can't think straight. So with that being said, folks, let me know if you all have any questions. Email me if you do. Strength and honor, guys. On to the next. See ya.